welcome to my channel once again my name is Yutina Adun Manoran Fashion School in Ibadan, Nigeria follow us on our Facebook page Yeti as a fashion on Instagram Yeti on the fashion Yeti is Y E eight zero. so we expect you to those that have been watching thank you for the comments thank you very much I really appreciate it so people asked for some things like jumpsuits and all that we will get onto that one later on. So if you want to know the beginning of this dress, it's a princess that you can see it. Go to our other videos, the pattern of this particular video, you will see how to get your princess that. Look at this one, the back is a princess that, the front is a princess that. So to complete the back, obviously, because it's going to have a zip, you have to split this piece. Don't forget that you had two inches to your sewing allowance at the back for zip space. And like I tell my students, there is no particular rule in fashion. If you know you don't want to use two inches, you can use one depending on the material. If you have enough, you can just have one one inch at each side just for your zip to stay well. So this two is not like a static. So for the neckline, we'll be using six. We'll be using six inches down. It's going to be princess that is always fine with a round neck. Also learn how to draw your neckline very well it's going to meet the ammo so if you have a neck like this low you should just probably have a, a back that is not this low you can't really have a low neck and a low front at the same time so since this is like going this low i will just be taking this one along the line this is the back it's different from the front so that is it. We have the middle front. We have the side. See this extra fabric is to complement this this material. Also very importantly is when you want to buy your fabrics, you have to know how to select. This fabric in terms of strength, they are quite close. You won't want to mix a fabric with this one and it is too hard for it to obviously be pulling this other fabric. So this is very suitable to mix with this and fabric because they have the same texture and you can see the color is just the same so buying your fabric you need to be very conscious don't rush what you're doing just make sure you get a very very wonderful fabric so moving on this is the side you can watch the other video for the beginning part so this is the middle front and this is the side two sides so the beauty of a princess that is just changing one of these to an extra fabric which is not necessary some people put like probably a bias or something just in between to indicate that oh yes we have a princess that but it's not necessary this is the back obviously two of it because we're going to have zip in the middle of the back don't forget to work from the middle front and the middle back this is the middle of the front and then this is the side we have two of it so we need to change it into this fabric so all you need to do is since i've drafted it I just get my extra fabric and since I need two of it, I fold into two. There is nothing, no big deal to it. Uh, if you go to our Facebook pages, our social media pages, when this dress is done, we will definitely post it to see the outcome of what we did together. So put this other one on it. Don't waste fabric so you want to cut. Just cut exactly what you need. I can now pull in this middle. If I cut like this, I'm going to waste this whole area. So all you need to do is make sure when you're folding, just move to the end of all what you need so you don't end up wasting the fabric. If you're if you're still new in this thing and when you're cutting, your fabric moves around. Please pin your dresses. That's why pin is very important when, when you're cutting. Pin your dresses. I don't pin too much because um I'm quite good with all these things. But if you want to pin your dresses, pin your dresses. But it's not, it's not really, they are good, you not really need it. So, you can see I have something. Okay, so I just cut out this one. So this is the pattern I'm using. Also, when cutting an extra fabric, cut immediately what you need. It might be more than, but make sure it's not less than it. If it's less than to affect what you're doing so cut immediately on the line and from there move on to this side you have to be careful when you're cutting something like this and this one goes down so 
to be careful with what you're cutting and with the downside. Don't pull your fabric when you're cutting. If I pull it, I'll be pulling out the one in my move from this upper part. So don't pull the fabric. Put your hand on it when you're cutting so you can. You don't have to pull. If I pull this one, I'll be pulling from this side. So just put your hand on this one to block it. Or rather, like I said, if you're a beginner, please just use your pin. That's what many of my students use. They just pin it so that the fabric, whatever pattern they're cutting, it doesn't move. So I'm just leaving a little here because it's the side, so it doesn't really affect what we're doing. So let me just briefly show you what the end result of what we're doing is going to look like. This is the front. And now this is not the finishing of the dress. It's going to have, you can see it's quite short. It's just immediately after the hip line. So there's going to be this fabric as a flare, full flare that at the down part. So this is just what we will be having at the end of the day. So this is what we did today. You can see that it is going to turn out really beautiful. And then the back is just the plain one. So imagine that we're putting the back on it. This is the back. Okay, no. Middle line is, is the zip line. So one back. If you have any clarifications, you can drop it on the page. On the comments, let me know how to address it. So we have the back. And you can see our zip space has overlapped. Taking it out, we have the front so try this if you got it and you you can send us pictures so we're sure that you got it and if you need any clarification drop your comments thank you for watching bye for today